So I feel that uh, some of my followers are confused because um, they, some of them started follow me for a long time, but the most recent ones uh, started following me more uh, last year when I was on the street art um, uh, painting a lot of murals and uh, some people might think that I'm a, a mural artist and that's... Um, that's my only type of painting and now when they see, they see me making uh, some um, plain air painting they get kind of confused and I totally understand because they are um, two different traditions and um, plain air painting is this like romantic French impressionist um, and uh, street art it's like this cool yo man uh, type of vibe and um, I have a simple answer for you. I uh, paint uh, both ways because I like it. Now, actually, I started painting um, with uh, painting graffiti uh, when I was 14. Even before I painted any any canvas or anything, I I went more into um, uh, graffiti and street art was like the main the. Yeah, actually, you know, graffiti was more into letters. I was a lot into letters. And I got into painting because of that. Because I, I, then I discovered that I actually loved paint. And the things that, um, like, the, the texture it and the, the pigments and the colors and the viscosity. The way it overlaps over each other. And then, um, yeah, I realized that. And so I, I became really into that and I decided that I had to get really good in uh, on painting. And so uh, my journey started as a painting from there. So the painting murals, after once I learned how to draw, was like almost automatic decision. Uh, the plein air painting, it became... Uh, because I'm a person that's always painted walls outside and once I started painting canvas I had this thing that I almost freaked out of being inside the, the studio and uh, I had a hard time with it because I have ADHD and I'm a very hyperactive person you might notice by the quantity of paintings that I make and um, so I uh, n felt the need to go outside and to paint outside and there I, I fell in love with this um, impressionist capturing of light and uh, it really spoke a lot to me because um, I had um, to capture the moment with paint and uh, I started interpreting reality in a very analytical way and starting to understand painting a lot better and that got me really deep into painting and um, it's actually something really that I love is to capture it and bring home a piece of time on that moment and I have like a collection on, of um, plein air painting that is my my postcards painted by me when I went to Vietnam and Laos in 2017 if you scroll through my Instagram feed you'll find out that I painted more than 30 paintings I think uh, yeah I don't know there was one day I painted three sunsets a mural in the bar and some watercolors that's probably one of the most active days I had because I was like tripping with the colors and the vibe of the atmosphere there and I, um, I, I just, I just love painting, you know, whatever the format. I try to make it uh, viable um, to live from it. That's why you see me painting T-shirts and uh, advertising and selling my work and making some stuff uh, that is more um, directed to sales. Because my my decision in 2015 was to live from painting, whatever it takes, whatever it takes. <laughs> And uh, and uh, murals, uh, actually, ironically, I not become a big chunk of it. Maybe it's because they are more expensive, but I also love to do it a lot and I became really, really good at painting almost in a realistic manner with the uh, house paint. And it became... Uh, it became my main source of, out, uh, of income. 
Um, so that's why last year I was painting a lot of murals because I, I stopped s s doing these small canvases, small sails. But I always love to plein air painting, so don't be surprised when you see me painting outdoors. And don't try to categorize me into a type of painter, because what I am, I'm a guy in love with paint. So I'll paint whatever I paint, and I'll paint all day, because I love colors and the thing of the paint. Paint is my precious, my precious.